Hello everyone, welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to evaluate this uh, infinite series n is equal to to infinity 1 over n square minus 1 uh, perfect square. So, what do you think? Mm, is this a easy uh, question? Mm, okay, um, let's try. Uh, first uh, to evaluate this infinite sum i'm going to take another infinite sum uh, sum of n is equal to to infinity uh, 1 over n square minus x square okay then uh, here in the denominator uh, we can find the uh, parcel fractions so we can write n is equal to to infinity uh, first we know uh, here difference of 2 squared so we can write n minus x n plus x now uh, using cover method uh, we can easily uh, find the partial fractions so we have n is equal to 2 infinity here uh, n minus x so here 1 over 2 times x minus again 1 over 2 times x over n plus x Okay, then 1 over 2 times x, so we can take outside of the sigma notation. So, 1 over 2 times x, sum of n is equal to 2 infinity, 1 over n minus x minus 1 over n plus x. Okay, then uh, 1 over n minus x and 1 over n plus x, we can represent as a definite integral. So, we can write... 1 over 2 times x sum of n is equal to to infinity uh, here we can write integral from 0 to 1 t to the n minus x uh, minus 1 dt then here minus again n plus x we can represent as a definite integral integral from 0 to 1 t to the n plus x minus 1 dt well uh, then here uh, i am going to rearrange uh, like 1 over 2 times x sum of n is equal to to infinity now here uh, integral from 0 to 1 uh, here t to the minus x so t to the minus x times t to the n minus 1 dt minus integral from 0 to 1 t to the x times t to the n minus 1 d t okay then uh, we know sum of uh, n is equal to to infinity t to the n minus 1 is equal to t over 1 minus t uh, when absolute value of t lower than to 1 so we can write uh, here 1 over 2 times x uh, sum of n is equal to to infinity uh, t to the n minus 1 is equal to we know t over 1 minus t so we have uh, here integral from 0 to 1 uh, rewrite t to the minus x instead of t to the n minus 1 we have t over 1 minus t dt same as uh, this integral integral from 0 to 1 t to the x times t over 1 minus t dt well now uh, we have same denominator and same boundary integral from 0 to 1 so 1 over 2 times x integral from 0 to 1 here t to the uh, here we know 1 so 1 minus x uh, minus t to the 1 plus x over 1 minus t t t well uh, this integral this integral familiar with us because in a previous video uh, we solved this integral integral from 0 to 1 integral from 0 to 1 x to the m minus 1 minus x to the n minus 1 over 1 minus x dx is equal to Digamma of n minus digamma of m. I will add the uh, link of this uh, integral uh, solution of this integral uh, in a description and also make a card. Uh, so 
uh, here now we have t to the 1 minus 6 here t to the 1 plus 6 uh, here n m so we should find the n n m so here 1 minus x is equal to m minus 1 so m is equal to 2 minus x also n minus 1 is equal to 1 plus x therefore n is equal to 2 plus x so we can write our integral is equal to 1 over 1 over 2 times x uh, diagram of 2 plus x here n n we know 2 plus x minus diagram of 2 minus x okay now uh, we know uh, our uh, sum we define a sum n is equal to 2 to infinity 1 over n square minus x square and we know this is equal to here 1 over 2 uh, this x i am going to uh, take into the uh, parenthesis so diagram of 2 plus x minus diagram of 2 minus x over x okay uh, now this is the tricky point uh, so now uh, i'm going to differentiate both sides uh, with respect to x so we can write uh, sum of n is equal to 2 to infinity 1 over n square minus x square uh, is equal to one half constant uh, so uh, differentiate with respect to s uh, here this side diagram of 2 plus x minus diagram of 2 minus x over x okay now uh, if we differentiate uh, 1 over n square minus x square with respect to x uh, we know we have uh, sum of n is equal to 2 to infinity uh, n square minus uh, x square perfect square here uh, minus minus plus uh, 2 times x so here one half now uh, to differentiate this part uh, we can apply a caution rule uh, so here uh, x so x square uh, then uh, we should rewrite uh, x uh, then um, we should differentiate the numerator so derivative of digamma function we know trigamma so here trigamma of 2 plus x uh, then here minus sign so minus minus plus uh, trigamma of 2 minus x uh, then minus uh, derivative of x we know 1 so 1 times now we should rewrite the numerator diagram of 2 plus x minus diagram of 2 minus x okay then uh, now uh, both side i am going to uh, apply when x is equal to 1 uh, so when x is equal to 1 we have n is equal to 2 infinity 2 over uh, n square minus 1 perfect square is equal to here 1 over 2 now here we have uh, x we know 1 so trigamma of 3 plus trigamma of 1 minus uh, digamma of 3 minus minus plus digamma of 1 okay then uh, here sum of n is equal to 2 infinity 1 over n square minus 1 square this 2 i am going to take uh, right hand side so here 1 over 4 now the value of trigamma of 3 5 square over 6 minus 5 over 4 uh, trigamma of 1 uh, we know 5 square over 6 uh, c of 2 minus digamma of 3 3 over 2 plus gamma uh, plus digamma of 1 minus gamma now uh, we should uh, simplify so minus gamma plus gamma get cancelled 1 over 4 times 5 square over 6 5 square over 6 we know uh, 2 5 square over 6 so 5 square over 3 uh, here minus 5 over 4 minus 3 over 2 uh, so 4 6 uh, plus 5 so 11 over uh, 4 then uh, if you need uh, we can multiply by 1 over 4 so we have 
pi square over 12 minus 11 over 16 okay this is the answer for this nice question thank you for watching